up you guys so this is gonna be a new tutorial on how to do this pop-up tweet animation that Tyler Oakley uses in his Q&A videos I believe um someone commented asking me how to do this so here is a tutorial so let's just hop right into it okay so I have a new composition right here the first thing we're gonna do is use the rounded rectangle tool to create a little rectangle and you want to make sure that you have fill color off. If it's on, you can just press the word fill and then you can change it to this dash one so that there's no fill. And you, the stroke is where you can change whatever color you want the rectangle to be. I'm just going to keep it at yellow. Okay, now let's make our text. So we're going to write the name of the person who sent the tweet. So I spelt my name out. So the font I'm using is Arial, and I just spelt my name out. And then I'm just going to drag it to the right so that we can leave space for the profile picture. And we can just bring the... And we can just change the text size to a little bit smaller. And then you want to just write the username of the person who sent the tweet. So I'm just going to write, sup, it's Selena. And then we can change this size to a lot smaller. And then you can also change that stroke to 1. Because I had it on 4 for the other one. But I don't really know your settings. So yeah, I just like to keep the username line to be a little bit skinnier, not so bolded. And then I'm just going to change both of these colors to white. Okay, so for Twitter, I'm not sure if you can save someone's profile pic. But you can also just take a screenshot. So on Macs, I know it's Command Shift 4, I don't know about PCs, but yeah, you can take a screenshot of their profile picture. So I'm just going to drag a photo of me here, just to show you for this example. So I'm just going to drag a picture of me in and scale it down to a very small size, and then I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and then create a short little square and then I'm just gonna drag it right next to my name and the username so now it's starting to look like a tweet next thing we want to do is create another text layer and this is gonna be the actual like message or question so then you can write down exactly what the message said so if this was a Q&A and someone was asking me a question I'm just gonna write my YouTube username and then write what the message said and then you can create a second line and then go to the paragraph and adjust these so that it's gonna go right under our first line of text and if you don't see paragraph you can go to window and press the paragraph so that the paragraph panel pops up okay now I'm gonna change the text of my username to a different color so I'm just gonna change it to the yellow color so I'm gonna press the fill button and then just put the dropper on the yellow of the rectangle so they're both the same color and then now my username is yellow okay so you can kind of adjust the sizes of the text if you want just make it look how you want it to look so now let's go to our shape layer and press S for scale and we're gonna go a little bit after the clip starts and then press the keyframe button for scale then go back to the beginning and press zero okay this is going way too slow so I'm just gonna adjust the keyframes to make that pop up a lot faster so now it's looking more like how the rectangle sort of pops up in Tyler Oakley's text animation okay now we want to animate the text so we're gonna press the rectangle tool on the text and we're gonna create a mask and just create the shape of the first line so now we have a mask and then we're gonna go to the mask drop down and press the mask path keyframe button and then go a little bit before and then drag that all the way to uh, where my username ends so now let's go and make another mask. So we're going to use the rectangle tool again and then mask out the second line. And so if you have more than two lines, you can just repeat these steps and create another rectangle to make a mask for the third line. So we're going to press the keyframe button for mask path a little bit after our mask path ends for the first line. And then we're going to go a little bit forward to where the mask path ends and then we're gonna drag the rectangle to the left so that it appears from left to right so now it appears just like that so you can basically customize this to whatever colors you want and change the fonts and the sizes and do whatever you like with it um, and then you can just basically export it as a text template or you can even just export the project and then import the project into Premiere Pro 
and import that one composition and drag it to the top of your clip. Whatever you want the Q&A question to pop up on. So yeah, that's the whole tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.